Vegans will tell you that they truly understand the purpose of animals, right? Because vegans are gods. They understand why animals are here. I'm sure they don't want to suffer. I'm sure they don't want to live on a farm. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, it is very, very windy today. I hope you can hear me. It has been a while since I talked about veganism. Lately, I've been talking a lot about spirituality, Christian orthodoxy, and on my live streams, I've been talking about politics, about the Kuratz virus, etc, etc, etc. Today, I want to bring it all together, and I want to talk about veganism. Guys, many people called me the anti-vegan. They called me a vegan hater. I am not a vegan hater. <laughs> whatsoever. Honestly, all I want for people is to be healthy and to be happy and ideally, of course, to follow God. This life has a certain rule set. Even if you believe in Darwinistic evolution, you will believe in certain physical laws, right? If you're a materialist, you will believe in certain physical laws, such as gravity. So if you jump off a building, you'll probably die or get injured quite severely. That's just how it goes. That's just the reality of this world. The same applies nutritionally. It is very, very simple. Nowadays, we have a lot of fake science. If you look at the current policies, when we're talking about the Kuratz virus, you will see that nowadays the safest would be to double mask or to triple mask. We all know that that is a scam. We all know that scientists, scientists are paid off. It is what it is. It must be beautiful to live in a bubble, in a fairy tale where scientists are the new holy man, the new saints. And all they tell you is truth, ultimate truth. But we know that it's just as easy to pay off a scientist as it is to pay off a politician. We all know those people are corrupt. Now, you point to a study and you show the world that veganism is the way to go, right? Even though we have an abundance of nutritional science that points out to the health benefits of animal foods. No, we're going to discard those and we're just going to talk about the science that favors veganism. Listen, that is all right. You can do that. The reality of things is you will suffer. <laughs> That's all. You can point towards a study and meanwhile, you're pooping blood. We've seen that oftentimes with vegans. They're pooping blood, but they're talking about a study. They're talking about... That is all anecdotes. Not trusting their self. The Bible states, know thyself, so you can know God. God is truth and God is love. People don't understand that concept at all. If God is love, why do animals suffer? They do not understand what true love is. If you look at a little child that wants to eat a bunch of chocolate and the mommy gives him chocolate to eat, eat more chocolate honey bunny, that kid will get obese, that kid will get spoiled, that kid will be weak. That's just what it is. The father, if he truly loves his child, will take the chocolate away and will tell the child, let's do 10 push-ups. Nowadays, this is called tough love. Ooh, tough love. It has nothing to do with tough love. That is just love. 
if you truly love somebody, you will tell them the truth, not what makes them feel good. Think about a friend of yours. What if their girlfriend is cheating? Will you tell them the truth? Of course you will, if you are a real friend. If you are a real friend, you will tell them the truth. Doesn't feel nice. Probably would feel better if they would stay in their delusion. But it is not real. It is not true. So therefore, you must up your courage. You really love that person. And you tell them the truth. You tell them what is going on. Love equals truth. Nothing more, nothing less. It doesn't matter how it feels to you. It doesn't matter if it sounds harsh. It must be the truth. The same applies to veganism. Vegans do not want to accept the truth. It is quite amazing because if you look into our natural habitats, you look into what people have done, what rural people still do, you will understand what is needed for a healthy life, socially and nutritionally. People like to talk about the blue zones, like the Okinawans. The Okinawans eat an abundance of pork, an abundance of organs. They're not healthy because they're eating sweet potatoes. No. Nope. On top of that, they have a great social environment. They have great family values. All of that is healthy. All of that is good because it's true. The Western society tries to tell you it is loving if you address your children by their preferred pronouns. If you call your daughter a she, you should go to jail. We just saw that happening. But that is not true love. That is fake love. Yet again, we're gonna pamper, we're gonna spoil, we're gonna pervert, we're gonna abstract everything that is true. This is why Satanism is inverted. You twist the symbols. 666, the number of the beast. What it means is to twist everything upside down. To falsify truth. And this is what veganism does. Veganism is wrong in its core. Why? It's very simple. None of those plants that vegans eat nowadays in their quote-unquote whole food plant-based diet, none of those plants, are found in our natural environment. And by now, you might say, I'm not going to listen to this guy because he's a bigoted Christian. What does he know? That is all right. Let's take your worldview. Let's take the evolutionary worldview. Let's talk about basic biology. Every biological life form has all it needs in nature. You cannot debunk that. Every single biological life form has everything it needs in nature. Evolutionary, it is created that way. The gazelle has grass and the lion has the gazelle. That's just how it is. You cannot deny it because it is true. The human, look at the human before the agricultural revolution. Look at the human. What did we have? Even before farming, what did we have? We had animal foods. And that's pretty much all we had. If you lived in Germany or any Western European country, maybe, maybe you had some berries, springtime, summertime. Other than that, you had deer, you had hogs, you had rabbits, you might have had some eggs, and that's about it. So if you believe in science, if you believe in evolution, Evolution determined exactly what we should eat. More than that, if you believe in evolution, why would you care about ethics? 
you care about ethics because the truth is that people have an inherent need for spirituality, for spiritual truths. It is not just the cuckoo people that fall for spirituality. The reality is that every human being has a need for a higher purpose, a higher reasoning, a truth. Even people that will tell you there is no ultimate truth, morals are totally subjective, will seek a higher truth, a higher purpose. Look at the vegans. They will tell you that morals are totally subjective. There is no ultimate truth, but you shouldn't eat animals because that is bad. Oh, really? Should I now have to entertain this statement? Really? Should I now truly believe that? Is that true now? If there is no subjective truth, why would I even listen to your argument? The truth is, there is a God. The truth is that if you do not believe, and that's already wrong, if you do not know God, you will fall for anything. If you do not know God, you will seek God in other places. You will create idols and everything will become an idol for you. Veganism becomes an idol. The animals become idols. Veganism becomes the ultimate truth. Even though nothing is really true, right? Remember, everything is subjective, but veganism is right. Guys, my channel is called Bobby's Perspective and not NutritionFacts.org. I couldn't care less. I love all people and I truly want health for people. However, I cannot change anything. I cannot even change my own life. Only God can do that. What I can do is share my perspective and maybe, maybe it will resonate with a few. And that is great. If not, you will suffer. And that is great as well. God is pure, infinite love. He lets you suffer. You can decide, right? Or at least so it seems, to do what you want to do. If you haven't learned the lesson yet, you will still suffer. Let's take another example. There is a girl and she always gets into abusive relationships. Okay, because she still didn't learn the lesson. In this society, we would point the finger and say, the man is the bad guy, he has been abusive. Sure, there is a partial truth to that, but why does the woman always fall for those abusive types? Something seems to be wrong. It is because the woman hasn't learned her lesson yet. She always brings herself into suffering. She cannot help herself. And it's the same again with veganism. I grew up watching Disney. Quite a lot. Quite a lot of Disney movies. A lot of cartoons. A lot of animals that seemed like my friends. Right? I didn't learn my lesson. I didn't learn that I was making idols out of those animals. Out of something that is so temporary. Out of something that has a purpose to this world that I cannot fully understand either way. Vegans will tell you that they truly understand the purpose of animals, right? Because vegans are gods. They understand why animals are here. I'm sure they don't want to suffer. I'm sure they don't want to live on a farm. I'm sure they would change. They would choose something different. You're sure? How can you be so sure? How can you know? Did you talk to them? Did you have a coffee with a cow yesterday? How can you know? The reality is, of course, you cannot, because you are not God. You cannot know that. And I thought I knew. I thought I knew what animals want. I thought I knew how we should treat them. And this led me straight to veganism, 
to a worldview that was congruent with me. <laughs> it was congruent with my delusion. It was congruent with my make-believe. Just because you believe something and it sounds nice, doesn't mean it's true, right? But society will tell you there probably is, even though there is no ultimate truth. <laughs> so therefore, I became a vegan to save the animals, to give those animals the life I thought is right for them, to make cows extinct, basically, <laughs> to get rid of all the domestic animals, and to let Bill Gates print our meat. That would make the world better, right? And that's okay. I went for that ideology out of my delusion, and what I got is suffering. First, a little bit of gut pain, first a little bit of diarrhea, then a little bit of tooth pain, then a little bit of depression, until it further downgraded into a full-blown suicidal depression. Gut-wrenching pain, suffering on a daily basis, right? And now looking back, I deserved it. I deserved it fully. I was getting what I deserved because I was feeding my own delusion and I was creating my own suffering, as always. You're always creating your own suffering. Nobody's fault. Absolutely nobody's fault. Oh, now we have to wear masks. Nobody's fault. Your fault. Oh, now we have to social distance. Your fault. It's all your fault. We have to stop blaming others and take responsibility. The same for veganism. Veganism is just a beautiful feedback system. This realm has a rule set. As I said, if you jump off that roof, you'll probably die. If you eat plants, you'll suffer. And that is the beauty of life. Every time you find yourself in suffering, it is essentially God showing you what you should and shouldn't do. Suffering is not normal. I know the Buddha came to the realization, life is suffering. Yes, if you do not follow God and his commandments, you will suffer. Absolutely, man. This is why Buddha was a vegetarian. Of course he suffered. <laughs> man, it is so simple once God gives you eyes to see. Look at this, here. I'm not even in full-blown nature, right? Here you can see there is a civilization, and here is grass. That's it, grass. Some dry weeds. Nothing, nothing. I hiked mountains. I've been across the globe. South America, Southeast Asia, Indonesia, Australia, Europe. You name it. There is nothing you would find in nature to eat. Nothing whatsoever. So that tells you a lot, even if you believe in evolution and not in God. It will tell you what you are supposed to eat. It is very, very, very simple. It says so much about our current state of humanity that we fall for such doctrines of devils, for such delusions. It states in the Bible, in the end times, good will be evil and evil will be good. And that's what we see. People, I'm sure you agree with me. I know that on my channel I'm in somewhat of an echo chamber. So share the video. Let's get some other skeptics into the discussion. Did we have the debate if cutting off the genitalia of 11 year old boys is a good or a maybe questionable thing is already highly perverted. We lost our ways. We do not know what is right and what is wrong because we do not know God anymore. It's very, very simple. We have to return to Christ. We have to return to God. Otherwise, we will fall for the cheapest tricks. And veganism is just one of them. It sounds great on paper. Compassion and love. But it's fake. You don't have the digestive trick of a herbivore. Get it in your head. It's so simple. I haven't done a video about veganism in a long, long time. Why? Because it is obvious to me now why veganism doesn't work. 
But I know <laughs> that there is still a need out there because people are falling for this evil doctrine on a daily basis. So here and there, now and then, I will have to record a video and Uncle Bobby has to remind you. Veganism will make you suffer. You deserve that suffering because you inflict it upon yourself. Why? Because you do not follow the rules of the game. All right, guys. And this is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked that I talked a little bit about veganism again. If so, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. I appreciate it. This channel, as you know, is shadow banned. This channel does not get any support of YouTube. So therefore, if you want to support us, all the links are in the description box below. Check it out. We have all kinds of links, organ meats from Grassland Nutrition, PayPal, Patreon, Subscribestar, you name it. All right, guys, but this is it for today. If you enjoyed the video, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And as always, may God bless you all. Stay away from veganism. Much love and peace.